Leanne, who's with David Hollingsworth, who has some answers to your legal questions. Leanne. Actually, David did come with answers to legal questions, but he's completely distracted by the heat, Michael. He would <laughs> really bet. like to argue with, with Tricia about what the humidex is. You think it's much hotter than 32. I think it's much hotter. <laughs> the black suit doesn't help. No, well, we're really happy. David is here with legal advice, answering your questions. Before we get to your questions, though, this is a situation we have all been in. We have either been the borrower of someone else's car or we have lent someone a car and you have seen a lot of cases that you think our viewers need to be made aware of about liability. Yep, that's right, Leanne. Anytime you lend your car to somebody, you're not just lending them your car, you're lending them your insurance and you're potentially putting some of your own assets in jeopardy. Um, when you consent to the possession of your vehicle by somebody else, anything that happens thereafter may come back on you. If they get into a serious collision uh, and there's a lawsuit, you're going to be named. I have a case right now where a, a, a mother lent her daughter's friend the keys to her vehicle. Uh, the woman was licensed, she went to a party, something happened, uh, she lent the keys to somebody else. Uh, that person was not licensed, may have been intoxicated, caused a serious collision, and it, it comes back on the mother of the vehicle who originally lent the keys to her daughter's friend. So there are some perils. There's so. another element worthy of uh, note. If in fact you lend your vehicle to the same person, often right. that can also be an issue. Absolutely, yeah. If, the, if uh, I have a case like that where uh, somebody lent their vehicle to somebody and they, they started using it maybe more often than the insurance company would have liked uh, and they deemed them to have regular use of the vehicle so when they got into a serious accident the insurance company said they should have been a named driver, they weren't and they've argued now that the uh, policy of insurance is invalid. So when in doubt have somebody who uses the vehicle regularly uh, added as a policyholder. And you should also, if in fact you are borrowing a vehicle, and this is awkward because you're grateful someone's lending you a truck to say move furniture, uh, but you really should also say insurance is all up to date. Ex Absolutely. Explain your best uh, plan of action there. Well, I, you might just say something like, listen, if something happens, I get pulled over, where do I find the insurance? Where do I find the ownership? Uh, because obviously if you're in a, a collision and you have no insurance, then you have uh, you know, no access to insurance and, and, uh, and a lot of the uh, benefits. 